Hey, it's Matthew Versteeg with iAutomate, and we're back to show you how to actually uh, edit a real photo, optimize a real photo. So once you've uh, dragged your photos into this left side over here, then you can begin to actually optimize them. So the first thing that we're going to do is put in some business information. Okay, that's under this basic information section: a business name, address, city, state, zip, etc. Okay. So let's just put an example business in here. We're just going to call this ABC Insulation, okay? And we're just going to make up an address and just put that in here, okay? Obviously, you would put a real business in here. If this was for a client, you would put real information in here, okay? So name, address, city, state, zip, and phone number. Those are the fields typically that we use for our SEO agency when we're optimizing images. Keep in mind, this can be used for much more than local businesses. You could use this for video thumbnails, uh, perhaps image ranking, a lot of different things, but we're just gonna show you how we use it for actual offline brick and mortar and service-based clients, okay? So once you've put that business information in, then uh, what you can do is use the multi-line uh, builder over here, okay? So once we put this in, you can now use this multi-line builder and check whatever fields that you want in order to populate this little staging area below it. So we're going to check name, address, city, state, zip, and phone number. Okay, you can add other fields as well, but again, this is just what we do for ours. Now, once you've put these in here, okay, this can now be clicked and dragged to your comments section. You'll know that you're have information to put in a box when you see that little plus sign when you drag it. All right, so you can see I just copied just by clicking and dragging to here and it puts the information in, okay? So typically we like to use that business name and address and phone number in our comments section, okay? Now, once you have that part, uh, what I like to do is come into this author section. I just check that and then I put the actual website in here. So. Let's say this was abcinsulation.com. I'd come in and I'd put abcinsulation.com here. Okay. Now we actually find the geo coordinates for the business. So I'm going to click this little map button here. And what that's going to do is that's going to pull up Google. And we can then type in our address. Now I just made up this address. Okay. So this may or may not exist. It looks like they're is a 123 Main Street, okay? So we'll find that. So it pulls up your map, so you can zoom in or zoom out, and you're able to drag this big pin marker to wherever you want. So the small pin marker is where Google has just deemed 123 Main Street or East Main Street is at, as they're calling it. And you can drag this pin wherever it really is appropriate. So if this is really your business right here, or your client's business, then you put the marker there and it's going to pull the coordinates from wherever this big marker is at. Then you're going to hit select marker location and now you can see that that pulled the latitude and longitude of that business right into these boxes. So it's very simple. You don't have to go to some other website or go to Google or Picasa or somewhere else to try and find your coordinates. You just do them right here in the program. Okay, so once you've built this multi-line section to do your business information, your website and your latitude and longitude, uh, that's, that's a good starting place, okay? I'm gonna show you how to optimize your file name, your title, and your subject. But in terms of the actual geotagging data, this is, this is perfect, okay? If that's all you were going to do for your photo, you could just click any one of your photos that you wanted, and when you click on it, you'll see it gives you a little green check mark, okay? If you want to check all, you can come check all the photos. So say you just wanted to apply this uh, name and address, business information, and your website, and geo data, right to all of those photos. Very simply, all you'd have to do is come over here, and you have them all checked. You can just click apply. And you see how handy that works? It just sent all that data to all those photos. So I have six in here. You could put 100 or 600 in here if you had them, and it will work just as quick. Okay, so that's the overview for putting in business information. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to then use Google My Business Categories, 
and keywords in order to build different variations and even a template so you can do individual optimization for each photo but have it done very rapidly. Okay, so uh, catch you in the next video.